In this video, I'm going to show you how to air layer with foil and grow trees like this in only six weeks. First thing you need to do when you're air layering is select a branch. Now normally my air layers, I would air layer something about pencil thickness or a little bit bigger. And from where I air layer, I would choose a branch that's about 50 centimeters long beyond that point. In this video, I decided I was going to do something a little bit different and see if I could push the boundaries and grow a really large air layer. So I've selected this branch that's running just over the edge of my roof. Once you've selected your branch, the next thing you need to do is prepare your branch or make incisions in your branch. So ideally, you make a small cut the whole way around a branch. You're basically ring barking it and then you go a couple of centimetres down or an inch or two down Make another incision completely around the branch. You run a small line directly between those two strips that you have ring barked and you remove the bark off the outside. Now, as you can see here, it works with the pair of secateurs, but it's not ideal. I recommend using a grafting knife or some other knife so that you can wrap around nice and easily and then flick the bark back. It's much easier to manipulate around the branch and makes the job a lot simpler. Now the way air layers work is by removing this outer layer of bark, the sugars that are produced in the leaves of the plant will come down the branch, stop at the particular point where you've made the air layer, and with the hormones present in the bark of the plant, they'll start to produce roots. And then after a period of time, you can remove it from the branch. Now when you ring bark the tree, you want to make sure you clean and clear off this particular section of the branch, because if you're not doing that, you may get energy flowing past your incision back down to the lower part of the branch and your ALA won't be successful. You really want those sugars to build up, mix with the hormones and start producing roots. Once you've made the incision and cleaned off the branch, all you're then gonna do is grab your potting media. So in this case, I've just used seed raising mix. You can use peat moss or sphagnum moss for this purpose as well. I've used seed raising mix in this case. I've wet the seed raising mix. I've placed it in a large sheet of aluminium foil or aluminum foil if you're in America, or tin foil, if that's what you want to call it. I've placed it in, and then I'm going to wrap it evenly around the wound. So I place the potting mix up against the wound, and then I wrap, and I twist in alternative directions at the top of the wound and below the wound to wrap that potting mix around. Your other option here, jump onto Amazon or eBay and pick up some of these little tiny potting balls, and they'll do the job as well. They just cost you a little bit more money. Now this air layer here is about six weeks old. At this point, I peel back a little bit of the foil. I've had a look in. I can see the roots nice and clearly. So all I'm going to do is cut the branch below the air layer and remove it to pot up. Once I've got the air layer back, I'll cut that small section of branch off at the bottom. That's a little bit too long. I've prepared a pot with some potting mix. And then I'm going to hold my branch in that pot and push the soil in nice and firmly around the edges so that my plant is nice and stable. Now this pot is way too small and that's why you saw in the opening clip this pot falling over. So what I've done is I've potted this tree up into a larger pot, push nice and firmly around it, keep it nice and damp and I've gone through and pulled off all of the additional berries and removed some of the branches to reduce the stress on the plant. Now after about a week, particularly with this Panama berry plant, I did experience a whole bunch of leaves yellowing and dropping off. But at this particular point in time, as I edit this video, we're an additional month and a half on and the plant is actually thriving. It's got new growth on it and fruit on it and I'm expecting as the weather warms, in the springtime to start to get a bunch more flowers and this will be another productive Panama berry tree for my place. Good luck with your air layering and I hope you found this super helpful. If you have any questions pop them in the comments and I'll see what I can do.